Did you know you can add a recording tab to PowerPoint in just five or five and a half clicks? I'll explain that in just a minute. Hi, this is Craig. I'm going to show you how you can add a recording tab to PowerPoint so that you can easily turn your slideshows into video files that you can post to YouTube or Stream or Office Video. It's real easy. But first, why would you do it? Well, a lot of us were big fans of Office Mix. Office Mix let teachers record PowerPoint presentations and turn them into videos, and that way you could reach a bigger audience. And one reason you'd do this is because as teachers, you'd have absent students. If you're a building administrator, you may have absent staff members for a staff meeting. And for both, if you're doing a meeting for parents, so many parents are so busy. And it's true that even people who were there for an in-person presentation may want to get to your video so that they can review the important points. This is a great benefit for absent students and for busy parents who want to keep tabs on what's going on in school. Okay, but that's enough talk. Here's how you do it in just five clicks. Yeah, five and a half. File. Options. Customize ribbon. You may never have clicked on this before, but now it becomes apparent. In fact, it's easier than falling off a log. Now I can use my wheel to scroll down to find recording, and I'm counting that as a half click. And there's four clicks, and there's five clicks right there. So now take a look at the new recording tab that has appeared. It's got some great tools that make it easy for you to turn your PowerPoint into a video file. The Record Slideshow lets you uh, present your narrations as if you were presenting in person. Plus, it uh, keeps track of the timing for each slide, which is important when you turn it into a video. You have screenshot and screen recording tools that let you jump out of PowerPoint and record something from the desktop. This video button lets you put a slide in your show, an embedded video with a slide, and uh, play it automatically. So that can become part of your final product. Here's where you control the audio, and here's how you can save it, export to video, or now one button to publish to Stream. Stream is a great choice. We have students, for example, who do student council election speeches and we publish them to stream and we feel good about student safety because they're not out on the open internet. They're using just our organizational stream. There you go, add a recording tab to PowerPoint and that makes it easy for you to turn your PowerPoint into a video file. Thanks for listening.